Stevel here at Amoeba Music San Francisco with Scott Ian of the Mighty Anthrax. They're on tour supporting their killer new album, Worship Music. Thank you. Scott's here to do a What's in My Bag. Let's see what I pull out first. Ah, Batman Year One DVD. I got everything under control. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen. From this moment on, none of you are safe. Why did I get this? Well, I love the comic, and I've read some things on the nerd sites that say this is really good. I go to a lot of nerd sites every day, whether it's horror, sci-fi, comic books, all that kind of stuff. So, next, the Dean Martin <laughs> Variety Show. Let me tell you about the birds and the bees, the flowers and the trees, the moon of a bum. Anything cold I actually remember like seeing these shows when I was a kid. I could remember like it just being on in the house and not getting it at all when I was three. So uh, to kind of get to see all these famous people drunk and smoking on television. Swinging. Yeah, <laughs> like you don't get anymore. So this is kind of old school comedy. And then last but not least, some new school comedy with my friend Patton Oswalt. Sweatpants are always pulled on over undeodorized flesh. It's just, it's all swamp ass and nut fog down here. It's just, a, it's an unbroken belt of stink. That's all it is. You can cut slices like a bunt cake and throw it at an attacker. Patton is just a guy, I can't tell you how many times I've seen him like close a show and you think, there's no way he's going to be funnier than the three dudes before him, and every time he just brings it home. Every time he's, I think he's one of the best dudes ever, all-time stand-up. Never seen him live, but every CD is killing it. This one is fantastic. Yes, Patton Oswalt, boys and girls. And that's it. Cheers. Charlie Benante, what'd you get today? Uh, today, I've been on a Queen kick, and I found uh, Jazz, which is probably one of my favorite Queen records. came out in 78, yeah, 79, around there. And it has one of the greatest songs they ever did called Mustafa. And uh, starts with Freddie singing. It's such a weird opening track, but I fucking love it. Queen Jazz, the game. Pretty much, for me, it's an underrated Queen record. There's a lot of good stuff on this record, but I feel this was the turning point. This is where they started to get a little strange, because after this record, they did Hot Space, which... Let me show it to you. That worst <laughs> Queen record I've ever heard in my life. But this one has some great songs on it, and uh, Dragon Attack in itself is the heaviest Queen riff. Okay, so that's the game. Which brings me to and one of the... And the theme. Continuing the Queen theme, this is, this is for me one of my favorite album covers of all time. They took this album cover from an actual magazine book. Uh, of course, it didn't have Queen in it, but it had this character. And I actually forgot the name of the, the, the piece of art that they took it from, but. Um, When I would go into the record store when I was young and I saw this, I was just drawn to it, you know? Even though I had it, I still had to stare at it. That's the way I feel about our record. When you see it in the store, you're drawn to it and you have to go at least see what it is. So, uh, artwork to me is still king. And finally, finally not queen. Not queen, <laughs> but starts with one of the greatest grunge records that, for me, why did I even say grunge? It's such a stupid term. <laughs> um, Nirvana. Come as you are, as you were. This, this to me was the, one of the greatest records that ever came out in the 90s and I kind of equate Nirvana to the Beatles because everyone sounded like the Beatles after the Beatles and everyone sounded like Nirvana after Nirvana. This is the greatest record, it's flawless and, um, and it's just music in its simplest form but that's what music should be. Look at that, you can't help but be drawn to this cover. Anyway, great band and I really miss this band. So, great album. 
Frank Bello, which pick up today? Yes, some people find this pathetic in life, but this is where I live, man. Mary Tyler Moore. <laughs> Can turn the world on with her smile. I couldn't find the seventh season anywhere. I have the other six seasons. They had seven seasons. This means I'm old. It's, it's all about Ted Knight, and whoever doesn't know Ted Knight, you should know he was a comic genius. Causing the out of control truck to crash through the wall of Mrs. Ray's bedroom. Fortunately, the 93 year old Mrs. Ray was not at home at the time, having died the night before. And, uh, I loved him in the Mary Tyler Moore show for my money was the best sitcom ever made. So that's my sales flight right there. Dean Martin, Variety Show. Oh, thank you, and oh, I feel great. I woke up this morning and had breakfast in bed. Didn't plan it that way, it just happens I woke up on the kitchen table. <laughs> you see these infomercials and it makes you relive the great comics back then, and I don't think they're around anymore. There's some that are around right now, but not as tasty as these guys were. They, they're just right from the heart funny. So on the bus now, when those long drives, Good times. My next thing, final, uh, every time I tried to see U2 on this last tour, I was on tour or somewhere else. And uh, I'm a big U2 fan. I think they do, I, they do it right. This is how I relive it. I get the big screen at home. So I'm at the concert in my house. And nice. when my kid's sleeping, get some peace and quiet, it's all good, so. That's good. That's it. That's what's in my bag. All right. Thank you, Frank. Rock, guys. Thank you. Joey Belladonna. I actually didn't know what I was looking for until I just come across uh, some great guitar players that I've been in. Uh, actually, Joe Bonamassa, he grew up upstate New York, so okay. he's from Utica, New York, and I think he's a great guitar player. So I was checking out some of his newer and older stuff or whatever. And Eric Johnson, another really, Fantastic. really good guitar Amazing player. Tone. Something about some of the songs, you know, I just like some of the newer type of styles and stuff. Another Eric Johnson. Of course, the White Snake new release with uh, Steve Vai. Ah, it's it's a live, live uh, Donington. Ninety, cool, you know, DVD. Of course, another John Joe Bonamassa. I, I just love I love hearing people play well and just take on a lot of nuances. And, I mean, obviously, some of the stuff's not actually heavy heavy music. Right. There's a little bit more fusion, more blues. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you Joey. for having me. I appreciate that. Rob Caggiano, what do you got today? <laughs> uh, I got some cool stuff. I'm on a huge Pink Floyd kick. Excellent. So this is, uh, you know, the wall live. Is there anybody out there? Really excited about this. What else do we got here? John McLaughlin, one of my favorite guitar players. He rules. Uh, he's got a, an instructional video that this just. This is how I do it. Yes. That one, yeah. Dude, you, it's amazing. you're up on all the stuff. What else do we got here? Peter Gabriel. I didn't even know this was out, but it's basically, I guess, all his killer songs uh, recorded with the with the full orchestra. It says right here, no guitar or drum kit. It's probably gonna be cool. And this, I don't really know much about this. This, this dude, Rob Crow, mm -hmm. I, I vaguely re Goblin cock. Yeah, yeah I vaguely re remember someone telling me that this record was cool. That's the thing with these so I'm gonna check it out. I like trying trying out new stuff. And that's what we're here for. Yeah, you know? that's the best thing about Amoeba. <laughs> it's we had a little bit of a time limit today, but yeah. normally I would spend like four hours in this <laughs> store. <laughs> All right. Rob Caggiano, Rock what's in my bag? Beba. What's in my bag? What's in my bag? It's like a James Brown song. <laughs>